Mysterium Archive Burton E. Stevenson. This is a murder mystery from the beginning of the 20th century. It takes place in New York City. What language are they speaking in this book? They're speaking in, in Latin. They're speaking in Latin that sounds native. Uh, of course, Latin was not the original language of the book, but that is not the point. I would not have known about this book um, if I hadn't been looking for, for stuff to read in Latin. And uh, there's several aspects which are quite interesting. First of all, the quality of the translation that I've already mentioned. We've had these detectives and policemen and so forth in New York, New York City in the early 20th century conversing in, in native sounding Latin and uh, how is this possible is because the translator was spoke Latin uh, if not from birth from early childhood he is usually considered the last uh, native speaker of, of Latin the last living native speaker of Latin Ar Arcadius, no, Arcadius, Arcadius Avellanus who was actually a Hungarian. The Hungarians are usually extremely good at languages, as everybody knows. And there's also a, a missing chapter there in the history of the Latin language that most people think, you know, the Latin starts to uh, enter into decline in the early, uh, early 18th century and so forth and so forth. But actually there's a Hungarian chapter that I'm missing out on where Latin is the, uh, the, the language of the Hungarian courts well into the uh, 19th century. And I read some place that was actually used as a lingua franca in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So this is a, a chapter uh, uh, in the, the importance of the Latin language that many people don't know about, Latin and, and Hungary. And uh, the fact that uh, the Hungarians cultivated this language at, at a very high level. And uh, Avellanus would be, I guess, the last of the tribe. But think about it, the last uh, native speaker of Latin. And I read somewhere that he, uh, he learned Latin before he actually learned Hungarian. Pretty interesting. And, uh, he didn't like Esperanto, by the way, he called it Desperanto, which is another interesting detail. So, if you can read Latin, if you're a student of Latin, you might want to get a hold of this. Delve into it. If you can't, you can also find it in English. There's old reprints on, uh, you can find them on Amazon.com. You can find the original in the English, the Boulet Cabinet. Old mystery books. Very good.